So I'm going to do the root cause elicitation. I just want to, because I, I was able to see you, and I know that the cameras weren't able to see. And so if you can just explain to me again. Now, is, this is the biggest one, obviously. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge, huge. Okay. Huge. So explain to me. Invested a couple hundred thousand dollars mm. uh, for some project funding okay. and get every excuse in the book over a year that it was coming. Mm -hmm. It never came. Okay. Never came. He went to bankruptcy himself and therefore lost everything. I lost everything. I had okay. a couple, there were a couple other failed things too, but this was the, the big one. Okay. And which dreams, expectations, other things I wanted to do down the toilet. And okay. Almost my marriage, my family, mm -hmm. and everything else. And the bankruptcy just got over the beginning of the summer. Okay. And we are in recovery mode right now. Okay. But we're doing good. And do you have experiences of this anger where you can feel it? Oh, bubbling up every now and then. It's a little less than what it was. I'm trying to get control of it, but my wife, it scares my wife sometimes. Okay with how angry I have been. Okay. It, you know. And so one, when did this event occur where you found out that you had lost everything? Because I want to be able to go back and sure. test. I, for, again, this is probably the angriest I've been my entire life. Mm -hmm. So not, nothing back when I was between. Oh, no, no, I'm not getting the root cause yet. When was the, when, uh, just give me a round estimate as to when you, exp when you learned when that I you had lost everything. more so probably about a year ago. Okay. So end of 2013? End of 2013. Got it. Okay. Now, the only reason why I wanted to get that, and it's not a part of the process, nor, nor would I even need to do this, I want an event to test. I mean, obviously, he knows one, and I got one. I just want an event to test. You guys all clear on that? But you don't need to do that to release. Okay. okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask you some questions. First of all, how was the fly floating above, above your timeline? Was it good? Oh, yeah. Was it a good test drive? It was a very good test drive. Okay. Very good. Very good. So here's what I want to know. Is it all right with your unconscious mind for you to release this anger and for you to be consciously aware of it today? Absolutely. Okay. If you were to know what's the first event of your anger, the root cause, which when disconnected will allow all of the anger to release easily and effortlessly, if you were to know, was it before, during, or after your birth? Oh, it was after. Okay. What, what age? First event. First event. First thing that comes to mind. Yeah. Uh, age seven. Okay. Now, I have a quick question for you. Let's check with your unconscious mind. Is there an earlier event? Seven's kind of late for your first event. Even if it's just minor anger, okay. what is the first event, the root cause of your anger, including this anger towards the project? The root cause, the deepest part of the root, the first event, which when disconnected will allow all of this anger to release. If you don't know, was it before, during, or after your birth? First answer. During. During birth. So right during birth. Got it. Perfect. Here we go. Let's get ready to let this go. So you ready? Yes. Go ahead and close your eyes. And what I'd like you to do is go ahead and get in touch with your timeline. Okay. okay. And what I'd like you to do is float right up above your timeline. And now what I'd like you to do is float all the way out into the past so that you are directly above the root cause the first event, the event that occurred during birth. Let me know when you're there. I'm there. Okay. Now, I'd just like you to ask your unconscious mind to preserve any learnings. The learnings are the things that will allow the anger to disappear easily and effortlessly. Just say to your unconscious mind, preserve the learnings. Okay. Excellent. Now, what I want you to do is float before the event and any chain of events that led to that event. So that the event is below you and in front of you. So facing the future, have that event during your birth be below you and in front of you. And has the anger released? Not yet. Okay. Go ahead and float a little bit higher and farther back. Just float a little bit higher and farther back. Float high enough and far enough back so that it releases now. Let it release. Almost. Okay. So go ahead and float high enough and far enough back. And allow that anger to release.
Is there a little bit of anger? Has it partially released? It's partially. Okay, partially released sometimes means that there may be an earlier event. Can you ask your unconscious mind if there's an earlier event? Past life, genealogical. Grandfather. Great. Let's go back along your genealogical timeline. Go all the way back now to the root cause of the first event two generations ago. Have your unconscious mind take you to that first event now. Float directly above that event. Ask your unconscious mind to preserve any learnings. The learnings which will allow your emotions to release, the anger to release easily and effortlessly. Just say to your unconscious mind, preserve the learnings. Okay. Okay. Now go ahead and float before the event and any chain of events that led to that event so that the event is below you and in front of you and you are facing the future. And float high enough and far enough back so that the anger releases. Make sure that you're okay to let it go. I'm okay to let it go. And remember, releasing the anger will allow you to get all the positive benefits but no longer have that emotional response. Excellent. Did it release? It's gone. Perfect. Let's go down into the event and test. Is it okay to test? Go down into the event and test? Yes. Excellent. Go ahead and float right down into the event. The root cause, two generations ago. Okay. Now the memory of the anger may still be there. Is the emotion gone? Has yeah. it disappeared? Excellent. Yes. Good job. So float back up above your timeline so that you're before the event and any chain of events that led to that event. Float right back up to where you released it. Now in a moment, not yet, but in a moment, I'm going to have you float back to now. And I want you to have your unconscious mind assume position B on each subsequent event. Preserve the learnings and release the anger on each event, like that domino effect. Okay. It's like with every event that you encounter below you and in front of you, you will release that anger, preserve the learnings, and so now go ahead and begin to come back to now releasing the anger on each subsequent event. Preserve the learnings, assume position B, and just like that domino effect, let all of the emotions release from then all the way back to now. As you come back along your timeline, preserve the learnings, release all of the anger on each event. Preserve the learnings, assume position B, Are you back in this lifetime? Yes. Okay. Go ahead and allow all that anger to release. And when you get back to now, let me know when you're back to now. As you get close to the one, the event that happened a year ago, just make sure that you release the anger on that event as well. It's gone. Excellent. Float back down into now. And come on back into okay. the room. Welcome back. Wow. Do you smell popcorn? Smell your deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> I wear a Thai salt deodorant. You got some sensitive <laughs> fucking nose if you're smelling the salt. If not, I let out some odors <laughs> that I shouldn't have. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, I think that was a sufficient break state. <laughs> yes. Yes. Tell me about this project. Well, the memory's still there. Of course. But I think I can let it go now. It's, it's gone. The anger part. The anger's gone. The anger part's gone. My wife's going to be very happy with it. <laughs> what happened isn't right, and letting go of anger isn't going to make it right. No and not having that emotion anymore, how does that feel right now? Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. No, it does. As you think of this person, anything coming up? I wish him the best. I have to be better than that. I have to take the higher road. Yeah. That's Thank awesome. you. You're welcome. We're not done yet. That was a test. Okay. <laughs> Here's what I'd like you to do. Go ahead and close your eyes. And I'd like you to float out into the future okay. to an unspecified time where if it had happened in the past, you would have had that unwarranted, unwanted, or inappropriate anger. 
that feeling of picking up a baseball bat or whatever it was. And what do you do instead? I'm playing catch with him. <laughs> uh, realistically, yeah, realistically. Um, I'm finding any other events that are going to make me this angry. I could look at myself in the mirror, learn from it, and be a better person and take the higher road. Excellent. Very good. Okay, come on back to now. Come on back okay. in the room. Go ahead and open your eyes. <sighs> Can we give him a big round of applause? <laughs> Thank you. Dude, can I have a bro hug? Yeah, man, Thank of course. You. I was about to ask you that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Here, you. Let me take this. Wow. <laughs> Stuff works, guys.